Yo guys, what is going on? It is Mr. DGM here, back again bringing you another episode in my Road to Elite series. This is actually the last episode of this series. I'll explain why a bit later on in the video, but yeah, it's the last episode. So as always guys, if you want to show me some support, uh, drop a like on this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, all that good stuff. So as always, I'm just going to get straight into it and show you what team I was using on this weekend league. Uh, and uh, starting off in goal, we've actually got a bit of a surprise player. To 66 silver card, who I actually packed. Now, uh, this guy was obviously only in the team for chemistry reasons, and I actually spent all my coins on this team, so I didn't really have enough coins to get a good goalkeeper. So what I did is I just had an informed Schmeichel on the bench who I bring on every game. Uh, so yeah, that guy was only in the team for chemistry reasons. Right back, I used D Marcos, who I brought for 650 coins. Got two assists in the 40 matches. Now, I'm a big fan of this guy. Uh, I've had him quite a lot of times now on this Foot Champ series. And uh, he always does a solid job for me. A really good, solid, all-round fullback. Going forward, he's good. And defensively, he's very solid as well. So, yeah, I'm a big fan of him. On to the centre-backs now. We've got two of my personal favourite centre-backs. Starting off on the right-hand side, I've gone with Sergio Ramos, who I've worked for 179,000 coins. Got three goals and two assists in 40 matches. Always seems to get quite a good goal score in return when I use this guy. A real threat from set pieces, and yeah, Ramos is one of my favourite centre-backs, I think he's probably the second best, set, second best centre-back on this game, and uh, alongside him I've gone with, in my opinion, the best centre-back on this game, Jerome Boateng, who I brought for 99,000 coins, did get one assist, so yeah, as I say, I do think this guy's the best centre-back on this game, I really do rate him that highly, uh, and them two centre-backs are my two favourite central defenders to use on this game. Left back now, I've gone with David Alaba, who I brought for 66,000 coins. Got five assists in the 40 matches. Uh, a pretty nice return. And uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of Alaba as well. I think he's one of the best left backs on this game. I think he's only slightly behind Alexandro. Uh, but apart from that, I think he's definitely up there as one of the best left backs on this game. There's no doubt. On to the central midfield now, I've gone with uh, an informed Taliso, who I brought for 138,000 coins. He's got three goals and four assists in the 40 matches. Now, uh, again, this is another one of my favourite players, and I actually think this guy's the best central midfielder on this game. I've got a lot of players that I rate really highly, but yeah, this guy's a great ball winner, great uh, uh, everything really on the game. He's got really good all-round stats, and yeah, as I said, one of my favourite central midfielders on this game. Uh, on to the cams now, starting in the left cam position, I've gone with Kylian Mbappe. Uh, and uh, I brought Mbappe for 28,000 coins. Now, you're thinking his uh, return wasn't that great for 40 matches, but this guy only actually played 20 matches as a striker. Uh, so, in 20 games, he got 11 goals and 9 assists, which is a pretty nice return. And then I actually had an online Ronaldinho, 94, who I bring on for the final 20 games. So, uh, unfortunately for Mbappe, I subbed him off straight away for the last 20 games. On to the right cam now. I've gone with Antoine Griezmann, who I brought for 125,000 coins. Got 19 goals and 20 assists in the 40 matches. A pretty good return from him. And, uh, yeah, I was using this guy as the cam in the 4-2-3-1 formation. And I do really like Griezmann. He's a quality player. And, uh, yeah, uh, he didn't always complete the full 90 minutes, so his record there was pretty good. Uh, right midfield now, I've gone with Gareth Bale, who I brought for 349,000 coins. He got 29 goals and 12 assists in the 40 matches. A really good return. He was playing right midfield. And, yeah, Gareth Bale is such a quality player in this game. Electric pace, a very physical, powerful player, and a very clinical finisher in front of goal. Uh, got a lot of goals for me playing in that right hand uh, on the right hand side uh, of the midfield for me, yeah, I was really impressed with him. Left midfield now, I've gone with Neymar, who I brought for 408,000 coins, got 19 goals and 19 assists in the 40 matches. And yeah, I love having Neymar in my team, one of my favourite players to use. Uh, just such a quality player, a big player in big matches as well, always seems to step up when I really need him to, and uh, that's always important to have a big game player in your team. And yeah, Neymar is definitely that. Now, up front, I, I've actually gone with uh, Blaise Matuidi, who I brought for 11,000 coins. He got three assists in the 40 matches. I did actually want to get N'Golo Kante in this team, but I couldn't actually afford him. Uh, but Matuidi, in my opinion, is the next best thing. A really good ball-winning central midfielder. Great at pressing high up the pitch and winning the ball back. Uh, so, yeah, as you see there, everyone on 10 chemistry. So, as I did mention, I actually bring on a 94 Ronaldinho, who I had on a 20-game loan. Uh, and his record for me was absolutely phenomenal. Got 16 goals and 24 assists in 20 matches. Yeah, 
this guy has to be the best player that I've used on this game. I've used some good players on this game now, like uh, Messi, Neymar, Bale. But this guy, I think, beats them all hands down. He's just an unbelievable player. He's dribbling. He's shooting. He's even quite a physical and strong player. You can't push this guy off the ball. Just such a complete and all-round uh, player on this game. And uh, as I did mention earlier as well, I bring on an inform 85 Schmeichel. This guy played 36 games. I did have a, an on-loan De Gea who I used four games. But yeah, this guy was mainly my goalkeeper in this foot chance weekend league. And uh, to be fair to him, I think he did pretty well. Uh, I did like Schmeichel. Uh, another few of my uh, subs that I bring on, Harry Kane came off the bench quite a lot. Uh, normally for Antoine Griezmann. So, as I did mention before, I like to change the formation to 4-2-3-1. This is my favourite formation. So, I'd have Matuidi and uh, Tolisso as the two CDMs, Bale on the right, Griezmann and Cam, Neymar on the left, and then Mbappe up front for the first 20 games. And then for the last 20 games, I would bring on Ronaldinho uh, as my striker. And then, of course, I'd have Schmeichel in goal. On to the player instructions. So, Ronaldinho, I told him to get in behind and press the back line. Griezmann stay forward to get into the box with cross and free roam. Matuidi cut passing lane to stay back while attacking. Neymar stay forward cut inside get in behind and get into the box for cross. Tolisso cut passing lane to stay back while attacking. Then Bale stay forward to cut inside get in behind and get into the box for cross. And I like to keep my full backs on balanced attack. So those were my player instructions. Uh, so as always now we're going to move on to my highlights from this foot chance weekend league. And uh, as always, I like to split it into the categories games between 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, and then finally 30 to 40. Now, not only was I playing just for weekly rewards, it was also the last week for monthly rewards. So my situation was, I had to get 19 wins to get into Elite 3 for monthly rewards for the first time. And obviously, this whole series is about me trying to get into Elite 3, or just Elite really, for the first time because I've never done it before. So all I had to do was get 19 wins and I would do it. Also, I had to get 28 wins and I would get into Elite 2 monthly rewards. So I've never even got Elite before. So to get into Elite 2 would just be crazy really. And of course I was still going for Elite 3 for the weekly rewards as well. So let's get into my results for the first 10 games. So I got off to a fairly nice start. I won my first two games. Did lose a game. Then I won another two. I lost one. Then I won two, lost another match and then won my final match. So it was a 7 out of 10 for my first load of 10 matches, which is a fairly nice start, I would say. 7 out of 10 is kind of what you want to get. It's a pretty consistent score. It's nothing sensational. There was definitely room for improvement, but I was playing some pretty good stuff. The team was uh, linking up really well. It's a really complete, solid, all-round team, and that really was what I was going for with this weekend league team. I wanted to get a team that had no weaknesses, really. That was mainly what I was looking for. And I have to say, none of these players, I felt, let me down. They all stood up and was some. there was some superb football played in this weekend league with this team for me. So, yeah, a 7 out of 10 to start off with. A fairly nice start, as you see there, confirmation. So, we're going to move on now to the games between 10 to 20. So, as I say, it was a fairly nice start, but there was definitely room for improvement. And that's what I was looking to do. I needed to take it up another level. So let's get into my results. So I actually won seven games in a row. So I said there was room for improvement, but this is taking it to another level. Seven games in a row I won, which was just unbelievable. I was playing so well. I did then obviously lose a game, but then I, I actually won my last two matches. So I got a 9 out of 10. Basically perfect. Just one win after being a 10 out of 10. So yeah, a 9 out of 10 was just unbelievable. The team was playing absolutely terrific. I have to say, there were so many standout players, but people like Gareth Bale was definitely a standout player. He was such a, a good match winner for me. Neymar as well. Those two on the wings were just absolutely unbelievably good. They just created so many opportunities for you going forwards. They really have got everything to their game uh, and I'm a massive fan of both of them. So yeah, it was a 9 out of 10, which was a great start. And overall, I've got 16 out of 20 wins. And don't forget, I've got a Ronaldinho coming in now for the final 20 matches, which he has to improve the team. Of course, he's a 94 Ronaldinho, so surely things can only get better. We've already got 16 wins out of 20. We don't remember, we've only got to get three more wins, and then we've got elite three monthly rewards for the very first time. So there you see, confirmation, 16 out of 20. Everything's going really good, going better than I'd actually expected. So we're going to move on now to the games between 20 to 30. Now, I have struggled in this period in the past, and uh, again, it was a bit of a sticky period for me. Let's get into my results. So, 
I won my first match, then I lost two in a row, which it wasn't great. It's a bit disappointing to lose two in a row. Then I won one, but then I lost another game, which was very disappointing. Then I did win two, I lost one, and then won my final two matches. So it's a 6 out of 10, which was a fairly average, but I'd say I expect 6 out of 10 minimum. But uh, I, was, I was a little bit disappointed. I wanted to get another 7 out of 10, and 7 out of 10 is solid, but I'd say 6 out of 10 is fairly average. So it was a little bit disappointing, but there was still a lot of potential for me to do something really special for this weekend league. So... A 6 out of 10 put me in a fairly nice position, leaving me in a situation where all I had to do was win 7 out of 10 for my last 10 matches and I would get Elite 3 for the first time for weekly rewards and also I would then get Elite 2 for monthly rewards. So the possibility of me getting some really good stuff was still very much in the balance. A 7 out of 10, it was definitely doable. Of course, with Ronaldinho now in the side, playing very well. So as you see there, I'm on 22 wins out of 10 matches. So I need to get 6 out of 10 for Elite 2 monthly rewards, or 7 out of 10 to get Elite 3 weekly rewards, and then, of course, I would also get Elite 2 for the monthly rewards. So let's get into my final load of results. So unfortunately for me, I lost my first two games, and I was just... I just seemed, it seemed like I was getting some really tricky opponents. It seemed like everyone I played had Cristiano Ronaldo. I don't know what it was about this weekend league. Everyone seemed to have Cristiano Ronaldo in their team. But uh, then I did win two matches in a row. Then, unfortunately, I lost another game. But then I managed to pick up my form a bit just in the crucial period. The last five games, I really did have to up it. So I win one match. Then I win another match. Then I win another match. Now, there's a game that is a very special game. I was drawing 2-2. In the 87th minute, I give away a penalty. He scores it. He goes 3-2 up. If I lose this game, I can't get Elite 3 weekly rewards. So he's 3-2 up in the 87th minute. Harry Kane has came off the bench. He has scored. Then we get another goal through uh, Ronaldinho. Uh, and he makes it 3-4. So I win the game. Uh, and that takes it to the very last match now. So all I have to do, I've already got Elite 2 for the weekly, for the monthly rewards. I've secured Elite 2 monthly rewards. So it's one game. All I have to do is win and I'll get Elite 3 for the first time weekly rewards. And uh, I actually went 2-0 down in this game. I bring on Harry Kane off the bench. He managed to pull it back 2-2. Uh, but then unfortunately for me, he scores from a kickoff goal. And I lose the game 3-2. Which was just absolutely disappointing to be honest. But as you see there, overall confirmation, it's 28 wins. I have secured myself Elite 2 monthly rewards for the very first time. Which I'm absolutely buzzing about. Uh, I'm delighted to get that. Of course I would have loved to have got Elite 3 for the weekly rewards. But I've accomplished what I set up to do. Which was get into Elite for the first time. And it's not even Elite 3, it's Elite 2. So that's why I've decided to end this series. I've accomplished what I set out to do. So, uh, as always, guys, drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will catch you in the next video.